Another tutorial by Eternal Blood. Okay, in this video, I'll be showing you how you can animate signature text, uh, forum signature that is, and I'm just gonna open a signature, one of my signatures with no text on, ready made, but with no text as I said. So I'm just gonna open that up. And we're just going to grab our text tool and we'll write our name on the image. I'm just going to put it there, it looks alright. And I'm going to go to the text layer and I'm going to right click it and go to blending options. Then enable stroke and set the outline to one pixel and make the outline black. <laughs> Now that's made it look better already. You can play about with effects and whatnot, but this is how I like it. So now we need the animation toolbar. To get this up, you need to go to Window at the top and then Animation, which will open this. And now this is our frame one. So it goes as in if I was to change the text so there was none there. Or on the second frame then it will go text on text off text on text off and just repeat itself uh, so that's how it works and we need to go to this button here which it duplicates the selected frame so I'm just gonna click that and I'm gonna go back to the first one and I'm gonna change the opacity of the text to 10% and then I'm going to go to number 2, our second frame, and change the opacity to 20%. And then I'm going to make a new one, and change that to 30%. Duplicate again, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And now we have this going up and back out. If you can't see that, I'm just going to zoom in and play. So this is what we've got so far. But I want the text to fade out again, not just go back to normal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to our 10th frame, which is the 100 opacity. Duplicate that and change the opacity to 90. And then I'm going to start going back down. So 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, and 10. Each on duplicated frames. So they're all different. And now we're going to go back to our first frame. And we're going to click play. I'll just zoom in so if you can't see that. Play. and now we've got our image coming in and going out but uh, I'd hmm, something not right about it so I'm just gonna hold control and press all of these just to select them all hold control when you click it and I'm going to change if, uh, oh yeah and if you click on this black arrow here you can select the delay time which is like if I wanted like I said before if I wanted the text on text off I could choose if it was 0 0.5 seconds before it came on before it went off or I could choose whatever so I'm gonna put a 0 0.1 second delay on it and click play and see it's fading in quite smooth so I'm gonna have that as my sig and what I'm going to do when I save it is go to file save for web devices this is important don't save as save for web and devices and then a window will pop up and you just click save 
and we want to save this to our uh, desktop and that's saved so I'm just going to go to my desktop and here we have our hitman uh, GIF and we're just going to open that when it decides to come up on the internet browser now the thing is when you host it when you upload it to something like image uh, photo, book it, photo book it you need to put the HTTP link in the direct link not the image code for some reason it doesn't work but yeah and um, there's our sig fading in and out quite nicely looks quite good and that's it for this tutorial thank you for watching enjoy